Here at the Schottenstein Center for the second Division IV state semifinal game, the first trip to state for Perry, and it's brought to you by Seifert Orion's Funeral Home, your Dignity Memorial Funeral Provider. The Perry Commodores making it to state for the very first time, winning their first regional title. And of course, it comes one week after the passing of assistant coach Herb Lane. Matt Tabler's team very focused with those six seniors trying to finish the season with two more wins right here in the Schottenstein Center. But standing in the way here in the semifinal, the Wellington School. Matt Tabler sporting the red jacket for this one and Perry getting out to a red hot start. Jacoby Lane Harvey. The block ahead to Orion Montfort. Almost loses it, but finds Plummy Gardner, who starts it with a three, three nothing. Then off a steal. Montfort joins the triple party. A nine nothing start for the Commodores. Perry playing more defense. The steal, Jacoby Lane Harvey to Montfort. It's 13 to nine, Perry. And Plummy Gardner, number three, hitting another three. 16 11, Perry in front. More good passing to Gardner. They lead 18-13 after a quarter. Second quarter, part of a 15-0 run for Wellington. Noah Berry gets the dunk, 21-18. Then Lane Harvey cuts into that lead, makes it an eight-point game, 28-20. Logan Dre trying to bring the Commodores back, knocks down the three. Perry trails 31-23 at halftime. At the break, Lincoln View is honored for their 20-year anniversary winning the state championship. A nice moment for the Lancers. Third quarter, Perry trying to get back on track. Lane Harvey to Gardner. Another three makes it 31-26 Wellington. Monford ends a 5-0 run with this two. They're down eight. The lead growing for Wellington. Gardner hits the triple, but it's 45-32 in favor of Wellington. And then a kick out to Monford before the end of the third quarter. That's a three, 52-38 Perry trails after three quarters. In the fourth, Dre the steal trying to get some comeback effort. Gets it to Monford. He has a game high 19 points, six steals. Fancy lay in here. It's 52-41. Then Monford gets it to Kobe Glover. Still down 11, and they'd only get as close as 10 as Perry falls 68-47. An inspiring season comes to a close for the Commodores. Obviously, it was a terrific season for us. Um, the first time, I think we were the only team out of the 16 teams here in their first appearance in the state Final Four. Um, what these seniors have accomplished has been remarkable. Um, the way we faced adversity at the end of the season to continue, um, just continue to keep focus throughout. As for the game, I felt as though we came out with a lot, a lot of energy. Um, I felt like we um, were a little short players tonight to sustain that energy, so we were trying to change up things here and there, trying to pick some timeouts, but I think foul trouble hurt us a little bit in the first half, and we lost some shooters in the second quarter, kind of helped them build a little lead. Um, and then the third quarter, um, we kind of stuck with them. Um, but I think just their athleticism, overall athleticism, just kind of wore on us the rest of the game. Questions? Matt, you get out 8-0. No. Think of yourself, holy crap, what are we going on here? Yeah, I mean, we, we told our kids that um, we needed to come out with a lot of energy. Um, and we said that um, every fan in that gymnasium, besides a Wellington fan, needs to be a Perry fan. We needed that whole gym and arena rooting for us, so we needed to come out with a lot of energy. So I was, I was proud of the ways our kids came out, but again, the way we play, it's hard to sustain on a 94-foot floor when you're only playing seven guys and you got two in foul trouble. That 15-0 run, there, did they just get you out of your offense? Or what? They're good. I mean, they, they, it, it's hard to run anything in that fact. You just kind of got to let the players, you know, we were trying to give them just a little bit, trying to attack the middle. And, <clears throat> and it was kind of my fault in the fact that we kept a guy in the middle instead of letting just Jacoby and Orion penetrate the middle just on the drive. But their athleticism and they're just so long that they get you out of a lot of stuff you're trying to do.
It's hard to believe Orion just two years ago was a JV basketball player. Um, Orion's grown up in so many ways. Um, we felt as though as a sophomore he wasn't mature enough to handle the varsity game. And then <clears throat> I think it took one summer of him watching, or actually one season, his sophomore year sitting on the bench watching varsity players, and he said no more. And he had a great summer between his junior and senior year. And he's just continually improved. But his tournament run was fabulous. I mean, he went from very few colleges to calling to my phone ringing off the hook. Um, because big players have to step up in big games. And we had a lot of big games in our tournament run. And, and Orion hit big shot after big shot. Not only that, man, he's guarding the best, def uh, the best offensive player out there. So he's expending a lot of energy on the defensive end, but yet still hitting big shots for us. Um, the shooting background, it was the same, really didn't affect me. But uh, in the first half, we just really weren't, well, the whole game, we really weren't knocking down shots. But overall, it really wasn't affecting me, though. Oh, the shooting background wasn't bad. Uh, we just came out hot and then just went ice cold once the game went on. Guys, what was it like, Orion, probably the one of you can answer this, to have the sea of red uh, take over the shot in the community? You know, not just the Perry community, the Lima community, wearing red, wearing Final Four shirts, pretty special even though it fell short tonight, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, we, uh, we've had a f tough few past weeks, but uh, definitely I know that we have a community behind us supporting us. Um, that's a good feeling for us, for our teammates. Oh, it's, uh, it's just a good uh, feeling that, uh, to know that you have like a good community behind you going through this uh, tournament. And that was a big factor in our run in the tournament. I think their length and size just changes their shots. I mean, our, our game is getting into the paint. When we get into the paint, we're used to having, you know, a free shot. But when you got six nine with his hand straight up and six seven there, that's going to alter your shot. And uh, so. Uh, we're not accustomed to playing height like that, and it changed our shots a little bit. So I think their light, their length, and their height affected our, our shooting percentage tonight. I don't think it was a, a us going cold, um, but it's hard to find shots out on the floor when you got that kind of height. Well, Ryan, what was it like to match up with Wellington? Obviously, you guys started off on a good run, then they swung back with a run. You know, obviously, you know, it was a well-fought game all throughout. What was it like to play Wellington tonight? Uh, our coaches gave us a good game plan to go against Wellington, but uh, like he said, their size uh, is much different in person than it is on film. So um, they just affected our shots with their length and things like that, and they took the lead down the, down to the end of the game. Uh, for Orion and Plumbing, uh, what's the surprise you guys take Although the season didn't end how we wanted it to, uh, we definitely opened the door for future Perry classes to come. So uh, we're definitely happy that we did that for them. But it hurts right now that we took that loss. Bro. Well, yeah, like Ryan said, uh, we opened the door for other players, upcoming players. And uh, it was just a good tournament run with all the uh, community coming together, pushing behind us. And it was just a good uh, time to play basketball. Matt, what was it like to see this senior class lead Perry to uh, I thought we read a, I read a good article on the way here um, talking about, um, I think it was Ross uh, Bischoff, about talking about um, it takes that first group to get you over the hump. you got to be that first group to get there, and then it will follow. And so I thought that was an excellent um, piece of advice. That, and that's what we told in the locker room. You've opened this up. I mean, you had little first graders in our pep rally today. And there, if just one or two see that and love it and, and enjoy the game. And the last thing you know, we said to our kids is, don't be sad that it's over. Be glad that it happened. So it's tough. Um, I mean, it's tough on these guys. And this is why they're so good, because they're competitors. And so I said, you guys show your emotion whatever way you want. Some cried, some laughed, some were just quiet. But. Um, they, they mean more than me, and they'll ever know. And we've created a bond that will never be broken. Amazing, too. No one has got to be called out. As a team. 
Well, without a doubt, I, with their work ethic and how, how much, uh, how hard they work, not only um, at basketball but in the classroom, they'll get offers. They will get offers, and um, we're going to do our best as a coaching staff and as a school to make sure that they have the best fit so they have a good four-year experience and, most importantly, get that degree. So Perry's fine season, their historic season, comes to a close at the hands of the Wellington School. Great job by Coach Tabler and company leading his team through an NWCC championship for the third straight year and their first regional title. Thanks once again to Seifert Orion's Funeral Home for providing today's highlights and interviews. From the Schottenstein Center, Andy Lynch for WSN.